If you've ever complained about the safety of roads in the Springfield area, now is your chance to make your opinion known. The Ozarks Transportation Organization wants your input for its Regional Safety Action Plan. Joe Hickman attended the first of three OTO workshops today. Workshops at the Library Station in North Springfield and Ozarks Community Center today allowed the public to meet with representatives of the Ozarks Transportation Organization and then place stickers on the areas they feel need to be improved in our area's roadway system. The questions here are the same ones available in an online survey that's on the OTO's website until February 23rd. The OTO service area includes Christian and Greene County and allows you to use an interactive map to make specific suggestions. So far, people have pointed out things like no sidewalks in a north side neighborhood, pedestrian and traffic dangers at Campbell and Walnut Lawn, confusing signals too close together at Lone Pine and Sunshine, and the need for a median island on Cox Avenue. Carolyn McGee was one of those at the workshop today. Wait. Because with limited sight, she has strong opinions about the dangers and challenges blind people face in getting around Springfield. As for problems she faces every day, Rough sidewalks, drivers thinking they can make a ride on red in front of me. OTO will take the day together and finish the safety plan by next November. And it's needed because the number of fatal and serious injury crashes in the area, here in the yellow, and the number of fatal and serious bicycle and pedestrian crashes, here in the green, have both gone up extensively since 2013. So it's looking at behavior, infrastructure, uh, vehicle standards, all of those things together. When you're talking about infrastructure, you're talking about making changes to the roads themselves. In some places, the bike lanes just dead end and all of a sudden you have to merge with traffic. Vehicle standards means future changes like smart cars. There's communications that the car can help the driver navigate maybe an unexpected situation. But the biggest challenge is the increasing problem with more aggressive and belligerent driving. People tend to think it's just about me and nobody else matters, and that is not the right mindset to take with any of this. We need more compassion. We need to stop thinking that's just a random person. No, that is somebody's family member. Reporting for KY3, I'm Joe Hickman.